And then James's section, this time as I said, they it's all wet files, so I got delivered. This is a reverb channel, completely printed. These are ad libs with reverb on them. I'm not going to change that stuff. Their reverb is they've chose that. That's on purpose. Rather than trying to figure out what that is and replicating it, and then have somebody say to me, "That's not what I did. Can we? Can we? My vocals feel different." Or they won't even be able to pinpoint it. They'll say something doesn't feel right. The vocals. Have you listened to the rough? I'm not gonna. I, I like that anyway. I liked it. That's that's probably the most important part. When I heard it, I was like, oh, "I like that. That's cool." Now the lead vocals. This time I'll have one hand free. I think all I've done. I've cleaned up some of the noise between some of them, not all of them. And again, it's a lot of taming. So this time I'll DSing. This time I'll I love the fab for of stuff. One hand free. This is my standard template. So again, it would have been the same case. I would have started from here and built down and then added this towards the end when I felt I needed it. I leave the dent in my car to remind me what I could have lost. I'm doing a bit of drive, if you can see here, which is a bit of character distortion and some basic SSL EQ, this doesn't feel filtering in the low end, and uh, what else am I doing here? This is pulling out a resonance, let me just see that. Have one hand free. This has no this time out. This time out. Have one hand just something ugly that I don't like. This has nothing to do with me. Soothe doing the same, softening the, the aggression and stuff. See, this whole approach now is because I've decided to use the wet files. If they were dry files and I was trying to compress, trying to, my approach is completely different. This time, yeah, it's just the proximity stuff again. This time, whenever that triggers that number four that you can see here, it's just going to compress. This time, this time. This there you go. It's only just, just, it might have bothered me once when I'm listening to the song, like, right, I'm going to go get that. You can do it through uh, Audio Suite if you want. And the same thing, the only compression I've got going on is parallels tucked in, so I'm keeping all the dynamics of their song, but all I'm doing is tucking in. Just a bit of a, a nicer version with all my, my work. And a bit of DSing at the end. One hand free. Let's go to the, the last vocal. This time. So I noticed that this, the S's and the sh's and the, the t's and all those sorts of sibilant sounds was the, the main concern. Listening to the rough and going, okay, cool. Now I compare it to the wet files and saying, right, that's, that's my biggest thing I need to work on to get the song where I can move things around and enjoy it. You'll see the same thing going on here. You'll see. It's, 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 I've just copied the chain over and just adjusted accordingly. But what I then do is I've taken all these leads, which are the yellows, you can see, and I've sent them to a lead group, which also has. This will be doing the ch, sh. What is that set to? 3.7. This is the S's. filtering the leads, I'm filtering everything above, is that 10K? Yeah, 10K. Relatively gentle slope. What is that? And I'm pulling a load of mids down. That's interesting even for me to look at. Those two, as well as, so the, the BVs are all going to the same thing, a D, another group, sorry, with the same DSA on it, the Vice Weiss. Poison. Then the lot of them get put together to this group here. So these two. Now on this group, I've got a track spacer. Let's see what's being fed to it. Now this is being fed from slow tire. So let's try to find, I know where it is, it's here. Watch. So the sidechain input of this, this is like 32 bands of EQ. Thing, uh, individually being turned down. It's like a multi-band compressor, but loads of bands. And you pick, what, so this dark area here is what you can see. That's the area that's being compressed. This is by how much compression. 
I've set the sidechain to B slow tie's voice. So at the point where they sing together, slow tie comes in, James's vocal will duck down in the area which allows slow tie to cut through the most. So I'm gonna exaggerate it for you. So I've just done it a much gentler version of it, but it just it just tucks out. What is this between? That is uh, between 1k and about 6k, let's say. The vocal, the, the center of the vocal on James is just ducking down a little bit. You can choose your you can choose attack and release times. And if any, I've just noticed now. I've got it set to MS and all the way in the mid. So it's only in the center that this compression is happening. Because I've got this on the entire group, I didn't want the reverbs, remember all these things that are printed, I don't want the reverbs to be ducking at the same time. I just want the center of James's voice to be ducking out of the way when slow tie comes in. Otherwise, if I, if I didn't do this and you get to this section, it, you get a bit of like a sh -sh 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 mess in the, in the middle and it doesn't. Suddenly, you know, half a man used to be. That, even there, where, where he says champagne and used to be, that just annoys me. Suddenly, you know, half a man used to be. That bothers me. Now. So, and then after that, I'm doing a bit of clarifying to then make up for overall shimmer where I might have lost it along the way. <laughs> 